Today I'm going to give you the top five reasons that you don't like your own artwork. Number five, cheap supplies. If you are using cheap supplies, your artwork is going to look amateur. If you're using colored pencils, you need to be using Prismacolor. They're a little expensive, it might seem ridiculous, but if you're using Rose Art or Crayola, you're using cheap supplies. If you're using acrylic paint, try paying a little bit more for some better paint. This is a Liquitex acrylic paint, or at least one step up to the master's touch. If you're using just garbage, got it at Walmart acrylic paint, then it's going to look terrible. Next, if you're using oil pastels, don't use the cheap oil pastels. Spring for the better quality ones. Cinelier is what I would recommend if you're going to use oil pastels. All right, spring for a little bit better materials and you will get better results in your artwork. Number four, you have no plan. When you start your artwork, you have no idea what's happening. You're just trying to throw down whatever you can come up with. What I'm saying is, if you're going to do a drawing, come up with a thumbnail sketch. They don't have to be too complicated, but you need some kind of a plan. Sketch it out in pencil first, and then once you have a plan, go ahead and start working on your artwork. You need a plan. Number three, you're not using enough layers. If you're working in, let's say, acrylic paint, you need to keep layering that acrylic paint layer on top of layer on top of layer until you push that canvas out of the way. You push that canvas back so that only your color is showing through. You want to use enough layers to get rid of that transparent effect. All right, go for opacity. Here's another example. Oops, I think I moved my camera. There's another example of layers. All right, just keep painting. Let it dry, paint on top, let it dry until you achieve the look you're going for. Even if you're using um, somewhat amateur materials like colored pencils. This is marker base coat with colored pencils layered on top of the marker. And you can see that you can get some really awesome looking illustration and effects um, by adding more layers. Most people give up too soon. Here's another example of colored pencil. This part hasn't been done yet. But notice the paper doesn't show through in the areas um, where the images are. Layer on top of layer on top of layer, blending and layering and blending. That's how you get dynamic looking artwork. Number two, you need more contrast in your artwork. You're not going dark enough with your media application. Here's an example. Um, this is again marker with colored pencil on top. But notice you gotta push dark. Put dark next to light, increase the contrast, invent that contrast if it's not there already. If you have a light area, put a dark area right next to it. Um, if you're working in pencil, don't be afraid to go really dark in those areas where it's really dark. Okay, so here's the Dalai Lama. Maybe you're drawing Abraham Lincoln. Notice how dark the dark areas go. Notice how light the light areas are. You want that extreme contrast that's going to make your artwork dynamic. Colored pencil, go really dark. If it's watercolor, don't be afraid to go really dark next to your light colors. Even if you're working in Sharpie, don't be afraid to go extra dark and have areas that are lighter. So light next to dark, really dark. 
Here's an example of, what is this? Pastel chalk with layered oil pastels on top. It goes this way. All right, notice, don't be afraid to go extra dark, but if you have a dark area, put something light next to it. That's gonna increase your contrast. Even something as simple as this, five by five square. Go darker and then go lighter to create your contrast. And the number one reason why you probably don't like your artwork is you are way too critical of yourself. Back in the day, my technique was very rudimentary. I don't think that looks good at all. It's really sloppy, okay? But it's still a decent work of art. That was back when I hadn't practiced all that much. All right, this isn't the greatest work of art ever made, but the more you do it, the better it's going to become. The more you work with a material, the better you become at using it. All right, so don't judge yourself too harshly. If you make something amateur looking, it's fine. Just keep doing it. Keep making artwork. I have no idea if this is any good or not, but I'm not gonna judge myself about it. Maybe this is good, maybe it's not. I have no idea, but I'm not gonna criticize myself over it. It is what it is, and you know, love your artwork. All right, well that's the top five reasons that you probably don't like your artwork. Please visit my website, www.newmanhousearts.com. There's a link below. And you can take a look at my online portfolio. Thanks.